Hello and welcome to painotopia.com. My name is Jan Lingen and in this clip we are talking about headache in the back of our head and how to relieve it ourselves. This is in most cases possible because very often headache in the back of the head is created by excessively tight muscles or trigger points in certain muscles. And um, we can relieve this um, excessive muscle tension or the trigger points ourselves by applying precise self-massage or self-myofascial release techniques. In this clip, I will walk you step by step through those techniques on the respective muscles and show you how this all is done. As we are talking about quite a lot of muscles, this video would become too long to cover them all in one clip, so I decided to make two clips. This is the first clip of the video series. You can watch the second clip right here. And now I think that was enough of my talking and explaining. Let's start the self-massage and we start with the side of our or the back of the neck with the upper trapezius. The upper trapezius um, runs here at the side of your cervical spine and you can grab it like pliers with your thumb and index finger by simply placing the fingers here in the area of your upper neck and then you try to pull away a muscle that is located here. Here on the back of the neck there is only one muscle that you can pull away and this is your upper trapezius. If it is very tight, it can be difficult at times to um, pull the muscle away. So don't get frustrated if it takes you some time and you don't get it immediately. So this is the upper part here. I hope you can see that quite good of the muscle. And then here, a little bit lower, it gets thicker, the muscle, and you can grab it better with your other hand. It's more comfortable. And this way you can palpate or feel the muscle respectively. Now to massage it, you use again your thumb and index finger and you grab it between your fingers and then you roll the muscle tissue between your fingers. And by doing so, you search for tender points in the muscle and as soon as you find one, you squeeze it and roll it a couple of times between your fingers. And you also want to pay attention to, to um, not roll it too often between your fingers. Um, first of all, to not make the muscle hypersensitive and also to not strain your hand or your fingers. And um, as I said, as soon as you um, go a little bit lower on this muscle, you want to change hands and take the hand from your opposite side and um, press here in the muscle tissue. And what I recommend here is exerting the pressure with the thumb and press the thumb against the index finger like this. This is here the muscle. You press in there and with the thumb you exert the pressure because the trigger points and the excessively tight muscle knots are very often located in the front of the upper trapezius and um, with the thumb you can knead them really, really well. Okay, this was the upper trapezius. If you need more information on this muscle, uh, more descriptions, more pictures, a little bit more detailed and you can take your time to, um, for the self-massage. Just visit my website painotopia.com, go to the trigger point section and look out for the trapezius muscle. Now we will proceed with the sternocleidomastoid muscle which is located here at the side of your neck. It consists of two muscle bellies and we have to massage both muscle bellies because both of them can create pain, headache in the back of the head. Again, we are using our fingers and we start with the part that runs from the sternum to right behind the ear and afterwards we will proceed with the part of the muscle, with the muscle belly that runs from our collarbone right to the same place. Now, to feel the muscle, you take your index finger and place it right here, right above your um, chest bone, the sternum, and search for the um, tendon of the muscle. And you can feel it by simply moving your finger to the side, to the left and the right. And you can feel the tendon, which you can see quite good, I think, jumping underneath your finger. 
as soon as you walk up a little bit, a couple of centimeters, the tendon is transitioning um, into the muscle belly and you can then grab it very nicely between your thumb and index finger like pliers and palpate it all its way up to the um, origin of the muscle. Oh, sorry, actually that is the attachment point of the muscle. The origin is down here. And um, yeah, just feel um, the, the course of the muscle, which is quite important. And it's the same principle as with the trapezius. You search for tender points by um, kneading the muscle, rolling it between your thumb and index finger or your little finger, it depends and concentrate your rolling motions, your massage strokes on the painful points in the muscle. As an alternative, you can um, pinch the muscle and then make your head move because this will activate your sternocleidomastoid muscle and massage it with the pressure motion technique. Brilliant technique to relieve muscle tension as you are communicating with your nervous system and telling it to let go of excessive tension in the respect of muscle. We will proceed with the muscle belly um, that runs from your collarbone up to behind your ear. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to palpate because the muscle itself is a little bit flatter and thinner. At least that's my uh, experience. So you go to about um, halfway out to um, your shoulder here on your collarbone. Then again you take your thumb and index finger and then very gently try to pull a very tiny band of muscle between your fingers to pull it and pull it away from, um, grab it and pull it away from your um, neck. And you massage it exactly the same way as soon as you find it. Um, that means with uh, the rolling motions between your thumb and index finger or middle finger or with the press and move technique. You know, you do lateral flexions of your cervical spine and this will um, do the job. Uh, you have to know that this muscle is covered from about here, from halfway up to your ear, um, from the other part of the muscle, so you won't be able to feel it and massage it that good. Still, um, yeah, it's doable. If you want more information on that muscle, again, visit my website, penotopia.com, go to the trigger point overview section and look out for the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Last but not least, for clip number one, we have to see how our spleeny muscles feel and massage them. They are located here on the back of our neck, right next to our cervical spine, and they also can create headache in the back of the head. We could massage those muscles, of course, with our fingers. I also showed it on my website, panotopia.com, how to do that. This muscle still or although it's better to massage it with a massage stick with the trigger fairy as this is not as straining for the hands. Actually, it's not straining at all. You can exert a nice pressure and it works wonders um, when we're talking about treating trigger points or relieving excessive muscle tension. You place the head of the fairy in front of your face. Take the um, one hand at its bow, the other hand at its handle. Then um, you place the knob, the little head of the um, trigger fairy, right beneath your skull, where you will find the transition to your soft tissue, to, to, um, to the, onto the muscle tissue. You place it there and then you simply pull into a push, sorry, you, of course, you push into the muscle tissue. You pull the um, handle of the trigger fairy a little bit in the front, like I'm doing now. And then you slide over the muscle very, very slow and search for tender points by doing so. And of course, as soon as you encounter one, you want to massage it with a couple of slow massage strokes. You want to do that all the way down your cervical spine to approximately here. And you want to experiment with the pressure from the massage from behind and from the side. When you are massaging yourself from behind, you want to place the handle pointing away from you. When you massage yourself with pressure from the side, you want the handle to point to the side. 
easier as that. As an alternative, you can also use in this area the press and move technique, which means again, you press into the muscle tissue and then start to move your head in various positions and concentrate on the most painful ranges of motion. And this way you are massaging then your spleny muscles and some other muscles of the cervical spine that can contribute, that can cause headache in the back of the head. I want to give you one important tip about uh, massaging this whole area here. Start out conservatively. That means with little pressure, with short massage sessions in order to not overdo it here in the beginning, if, especially if you never massaged yourself in this area. Always listen to your body's reactions after the massage because in this area are a lot of receptors located that are responsible for your orientation in space. If you massage them too heavy, they might get irritated, the muscles as well as the receptors and cause dizziness and um, nausea and you um, lose your equilibrium a little bit, which is not too comfortable. You can totally avoid that by simply going slow, taking your time and only going step by step higher with your massage pressure and the duration of the massage. Take your time one or two weeks, you know, go very slow and you will be fine. Okay, thank you for your time. This was part one of my two part series on how to relieve headache in the back of the head yourself by applying a self massage and self myofascial release. I hope you found this information helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up for this video. Comment in the description box, uh, not in the description box, just in the boxes here below uh, if you have any questions. Um, if you want to watch part two, just click here and um, do so. I hope you have a great time. I say bye-bye and say thank you again.